silence is what happens when we don't know what else to do with our suffering. And I think, I think that that is true of nation states and of individuals and everything in between. I think it's about what happened in the wake of 9-11. And I think it's what happens to young people who have a great dream, but haven't been, haven't really been mentored um, in how to hold that dream in a way that gives life rather than invites death. Um, violence is what happens when we don't know what else to do with our suffering, but there are other things to do with our suffering. Um, and the, the Buddhists certainly understand a whole lot of that. And there are a variety of ways in which to understand it. You know, the piece that, that the, the word that, that has been occurring to me for the last few minutes is, the, is this notion of practice. Mm. I adore that word. Yeah. Practice as a goal unto itself, rather than the attainment of some sort of goal. Practice mm. towards an end. Right. Right. It's it to me. It's the, it's the instruction manual for standing mm. in the tragic gap. Mm. Right. Can we just be with practice? Mm -hmm. Practice of leading. The practice of being. The practice of being a CEO. The practice of starting some expression of deep self and we call it this funky little company mm -hmm. or the practice of standing in front of a group of students and never really ending up in a place where I've taught everything there is to teach I've learned everything there is to learn I'm done right right yeah no that's uh, that's beautiful I mean I don't I think I just saw something about practice that I hadn't really seen before that it's not about attaining a goal, but it's just about maintaining the practice. Yeah. Just being there and doing that. Yeah. It's, um, if we can allow ourselves to just practice being at work, uh, cognizant of both sides of the tragic gap, we might be able to create a kind of resiliency to the violence that, that too often occurs in that work environment. Yeah, absolutely.